For me, the, the, the really exciting, when we started IAVI, a lot of people said, you know, you can't go to poor communities in sub-Saharan Africa and get this type of research done. It should be done close to academic centers in the West. And, and you know, for me, we've proven the opposite. The, the level of engagement on the ground and then the quality of work we've recently had our laboratories in Africa have been, you know, not only validated but accredited. And, you know, they've done fabulously. So the work there is done better than it is or at least as good as in anywhere else in the world. And so seeing a, a team like that come together and the pride that exists and the hard work and the reason they perform so well is because they're in it for, I mean, they're living in their community and seeing it. They all have stories to tell. And so that to me is, is, has been my, you know, in a sense, proudest moment. But let me give you another example of something that was interesting. We recently began to work with a group of, um, of, uh, of, of male sex workers in East Africa. Now, when I lived in Uganda, it was said that homosexuality in Africa was almost unheard of, and it is very rare. It's not a large, it's not something that's well condoned and, and all of that. So here was a group of sex workers who um, had been doing it, had been operating there, and to see them engaged in wanting to get in, you know, involved in this and having them celebrate with each other and the ability even to be open about it and talk about it and to even see the, the other investigators in the setting to, to see them and feel uncomfortable, you know, in a setting because they hadn't, the investigators hadn't dealt with their own concerns about it. But to see that kind of bonding and sharing was, was really exciting. We certainly have to be extremely careful, you know, on, on discussing these things and talking about them. And, and um, you know, I myself was uh, early on one of my hardest experiences was when I first went to Casancero, which is the place where AIDS was first documented on the African con continent, where the slim disease, and on the way down there we were ambushed, and the car behind us, somebody was shot in the head, and being the only doctor, I had to provide medical care and spend the night sleeping in the clinic where the first cases were diagnosed, uh, not knowing whether these guys were going to come back and try to get us, and eventually sending for help in a in a, in a canoe, getting soldiers to come and help escort us out. So the answer is I've certainly been in situations that it's been pretty trying. But, you know, the, the other side of it is that when you deal with, you know, your investigators, your people, everybody has a story. When you're there and you spend time with them, they'll tell you about their brothers and sisters and others who have died from this disease. And, and to watch the, the amazing a dedication that occurs by having that incredible connection. You ask people, why are you doing this? Why are you so? And, and they say, I don't want my child to grow up in the fear in this situation. And, and so it's just an amazing commitment.